even an extra $50 a year in admin fees over a 50 year period could mean that you reduce your super balance by over $24,000. That's a lot of money. What's up good people, welcome to episode 2 of The Grad Book. We've had a slight modification to the series, no longer being called The Desperate Graduate because The Grad Book sounds better. Today's topic is about saving hundreds of dollars on account fees in your superannuation balance. More specifically, when your balance in your super account is pretty low. This is definitely the case when you're just starting out in a part-time work during university or even during your first full-time role once you've graduated. I personally know this because I used to pay hundreds of dollars in unnecessary account fees which ate away from my future retirement funds. Just quickly before we get started, if you like this sort of content and want to see more, Make sure to hit that like button somewhere and do subscribe to the channel. If you're feeling extra generous or you have any questions about the video, leave a comment below in the, in the comment section. I'll try my best to get back uh, and answer your question. Also, if you haven't seen the last episode of the grad book where I explained how to pocket an extra $900 in your savings account, click in one of these two corners. The link will be there. Definitely worth a watch. All right, let's move on to the video. Ah yes, superannuation. The government's way of making you pay for your retirement instead of it coming from their pocket. How it works is that each paycheck, your employer pays a certain percentage of your pay into a super account, where it sits there and is managed by a super fund. They grow your investment over time until you hit retirement age, at which you withdraw that money and you go about and spend it. The idea is that you have enough money to live out the rest of your life. This percentage that your employer is paying into your super account is only rising. Previously, it started off at 9%. It's now 10% as of the 1st of July, 2021, and is going to rise by 0.5% every year until 2025, where a whopping 12% of your pay is going to super. Remember, this is all compulsory. Now, every super fund charges account management fees, known as administration fees. It's how they survive. As you can see, these fees are becoming a bigger issue as these super funds are taking a bigger proportion of your future money. But luckily, I'm here to help. Administration fees are typically split into two parts. Number one, flat fees, and number two, percentage fees. The flat fee is charged irrespective of your account balance. So whether you have $1,000 or $1 million, you'll be charged the same flat fee. The percentage fee, however, does depend on your account balance. For example, it could be 0.1% of the amount of money that's sitting in your super balance. Here, having a small balance and a big balance does make a difference. You might see that the flat fee is not very fair upon low balances. So being charged a flat fee would really hurt your balance because the proportion of this fee is much larger with respect to your full balance. And having multiple super accounts would be even worse because you're gonna get charged these account fees on multiple occasions. This would hurt your future retirement funds even more. This is where QSuper is really cool. QSuper doesn't charge a flat account fee. They only charge based on a percentage of your balance. This percentage is also quite low, being 0.16% of your account. When you compare this with some of the other funds, like maybe Oz Super, you might notice that this is this 0.16% is a little bit higher. But do remember that you are saving a lot by not having to pay that flat fee. Now this all sounds well and good, but let's actually do a proper comparison across the big super funds. Let's go over to Excel, our trusty spreadsheet. On this page, what you're seeing is a list of some of the major super funds in Australia and their related administration fees. I'm going to show you how much you're really paying in fees each year. Also, do know at the time you're watching this video, these rates may have changed. Now imagine you had $1,000 in your super balance. On administration fees alone, at QSuper, you'd get charged a mere $1.60. Compare that to Australian Super, and you're paying $117.40. As you can see, QSuper is way below other super funds. 
Now, there are also some nuances around these fees. So, for example, Uni Super, they charge based on the, the minimum between the two fees. I think there's also the same with a couple others. Now, I'm not going to go too much into those details, but just do know that that's why some of the calculations may not add up. Nevertheless, even between the industry super funds in blue and the retail super funds in red, you are paying considerably less. Now, let's bump that up to about $5,000. Still, at $5,000, you are saving so much money a year. $8 versus the next lowest being $59.50. It's a considerable saving. Let's even bump that up to $10,000. You're $16 versus $67 at a wear super. And let's take that to $20,000. Even at $20,000, the admin fees that you are being charged are less than half of those that are charged by the other super funds. Now do you see my point? Just want to say a couple of disclaimers on this video before, you know, someone sues me or anything. Number one, I am not a qualified financial advisor. This video or information is not intended to take into account your individual circumstances or personal situation. It's merely here just to provide some generic information about how super works, how account fees are charged by super funds and how they drain your account balance. Speak to a qualified financial advisor if you're looking for more professional advice. Number two, I don't talk about the investment fees that are charged onto your account, nor the investment performance of your investment mix. This does add another layer, so make sure to take a look at this when selecting your super fund or making a, super, a decision about your super fund. Number three, I am not sponsored by QSuper to make this video. I have no affiliation with them. I have no idea who runs it. I'm simply just letting you know about a product that I use. Although, QSuper, if you are watching, can I have a free t-shirt, please? Number four, QSuper and SunSuper are currently merging. It's been in the news for a few years now, but it's meant to be sorted out soon. In an announcement and an email that I received, they said they won't be changing the accounts, but there could be potential changes further down the track. So please do bear this one in mind. So summing up, the QSuper accumulation fund is pretty good for those of you who don't have much in your super and want to avoid paying those hefty admin fees which eat away your future retirement funds. Every dollar counts. Even an extra $50 a year in admin fees over a 50 year period could mean that you reduce your super balance by over $24,000. Now that's a lot of money. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. There's a link to the QSuper accumulation fund in the description box below. Don't forget to smack that like button, hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on the next Gridebook video. That's it from me today. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody, and stay safe. See you later.